new project here. Hey. What's it doing, T? This dead? Put it on there, put it on there. Put them both on there. All right, you too. Look at the new project. 95 Cadillac Fleetwood. Got it at the auction down in Atlanta. As y'all saw in the previous clip, it was just delivered a couple of hours ago. So I'm giving y'all a walk around now. You don't have to fix this. I'm gonna reorder all this new gold. We gotta try to find a fender now. Man, this thing is grandma clean. It's got 125,000 miles on it. I can't show you guys the interior right now. We got about 40 more minutes and we can open it up. As I was going through it, I saw roaches in it. So I uh, had to bomb it. So I put a bomb in the front seat, a bomb in the back seat, and a bomb in the trunk. And it's gonna sit for two hours. And I bombed it at exactly four o'clock. So but the plans with this is to build a low rider. I've already put in an order for the Dayton's, well for the spokes. Um, I went with all gold Zenith 100 spokes Cross spokes I know you got some people out there who prefer 72 spoke And some people who prefer 100 spoke I'm a 100 spoke guy I prefer the 100 spoke We're going to keep this champagne look And uh, go with all gold 13 by 7s Redo the emblem I'm gonna order all new emblems gold I don't know if I'm going to do the bottom trim gold what y'all think I know I'm gonna repaint redo the trim black and I'm thinking about or I might do the trim the same color as the car and do all the chrome across the bottom gold I'll show you guys what the wheels look like let me let me step back right here so the wheels is right, bam, right there. So what y'all think? Go the bottom trim or keep it chrome? Yeah. We're actually gonna be starting on this project real soon. I'm not doing the, the hydraulics buddy of mine in Tyler Texas he's going to be doing the hydraulics uh, I actually got him trying to find me a setup now he said it's been taking a while to get the hydraulics in so he's trying to get his hands on a setup so that way I can go ahead and send him the deposit and by the time it comes in we can drop off the car so between now and then I'm gonna fix all the little imperfections on the interior, which I'll show you guys when I can open it up. Fix all the little imperfections on the outside. Get the tires ordered. The wheels will be here. The wheels and the adapters will be here in two weeks. Uh, two weeks from Monday of this week. It is October 19th, Wednesday. So he told me Monday, it'd be two weeks from Monday. So hopefully by then, I have all the little things done, all the paint work done. And um, so we can just put the wheels on and then wait on the hydraulic setup to come in so we can take it to Tyler, Texas. He told him it's only gonna take him about a week to put the hydraulics on once we get it to him. So I would love to do it, but 
I'm too busy at the shop, man. I don't have time to do it, so I'm a subcontract it out to him. So, all right, you two, we'll be back, man. Once I can open up the doors, and I show you what the interior looked like, and show you all the little things that we need to fix. So. Definitely gotta fix that because that ain't gonna buff out. So, well, all right, see y'all the next clip. What's going on, YouTube? We back on the caddy, man. We back on the caddy, the low rider Cadillac. Uh, I haven't touched it since the last clip, it's been about a week or two. Um, we actually in Texas right now on the outside of Texarkana, heading to Tyler, Texas, where my partner Joel um, got me some Cadillac parts. Um, you guys know I bought the car at the auction. Uh, the fender is damaged. The door has a little damage, and the chrome at the bottom of the door is damaged. So I bought a whole door, and I bought a fender from him. This is also the same guy that's going to be putting the hydraulics on. Um, he finally found me a kit right before I was coming down here and told me he found a kit in Houston that it'd take him like two, three days to get. So we're going to go down there, get the parts from him. I'm going to come back to Memphis, put the parts on, paint it. My wheels should ship out Wednesday. So I'm going to put the wheels on, I'm going to paint the door, paint the fender, put the wheels on. And next week or week after next, we're going to load it up on the trailer. Then we're going to bring it back to him in Tyler, Texas. And he's going to put the hydraulics on. So, um, yeah, we're about an hour and 42 minutes away from his shop. So, man, I see you guys when I get close by. And uh, when I get to his shop, he got a clean red on red Impala. Uh, if it's at the shop, I'll see if he don't mind me getting any footage of it. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, man. But anyway, see y'all in the next clip. It's not a game. It's a red skin.
day. What's going on, YouTube? Hey. <laughs> What'd you say? Hey. <laughs> she got her, she got her Halloween outfit on, y'all. It's Halloween, and uh, that ain't even the one for this year. That's the one from last year. I had to put up no. a new costume because she didn't want to wear it. So I'm making letting her wear her old one. <laughs> you had it last year. That's your last year costume. But anyway, y'all, it's Monday morning. It is 10.22 in the morning. Halloween. And uh, y'all can see the parts are still back there. Uh, we went and got the parts Mon uh, Saturday. And... And we baby goats. Yeah, we saw some baby goats. We saw some baby goats. You were scared. So I don't know what you telling them. You got you saw baby goats phone. You running crying. She wants a baby goat. I thought she was... Not afraid of them until we went and got the parts from my partner shop and she saw goats and she was running scared. So, but uh, you have we're heading to the shop. Um, I just realized, man, um, the door I got is the wrong door. That door is for a 95 96, and the door that I have is a 94, but. I really only got the door for the chrome at the bottom because the chrome on my door is damaged. The door can be fixed. I just got it for the chrome. So it, it if I could have put the whole door on there, cool. But it's actually going to save me paint time because I don't have to edge in the door and paint the outside the door. So I get my guys to repair the door, just paint the outside and just put the chrome from this door onto the old door. So it's still going to work out. But um, I didn't put the parts into the shop Saturday because it was storming when we got back. And then Sunday, I just stayed at the house and chilled all day. So, all right, y'all. We head into the shop. We get the parts out. I'm um, going to take one of my guys, um, probably probably my guy T. I'm going to get him to go ahead and take the old fender off, put the new fender on. and um, Or probably get my body guy to fix the door. I don't know. We're going to figure it out in the next, in the next clip. Ow might get the door fixed before we put the fender on or might put the fender on and then fix the door but we're gonna get it figured out in the next video so see how we get to the shop in the next clip removing the fender got the computer box out the way washer jug out the way gonna move the cruise control box from underneath it Was it a 14? 14 in, here go 13. Yeah, it's a 13. Got the fender on, my boy doing the body work on the door. Coming together. Almost done. So we're gonna end it right here. We'll pick up on part two with painting. And them two fellas over there is trying to talk me into doing something to the roof. <laughs> so we might do something with the roof when we paint the fender and blend into the door. I ain't gonna tell y'all what it is. Y'all just wait to part two. We'll do something up here. And go from there. So, all right, y'all. See y'all in part two. 
we'll get this thing painted and hopefully the wheels will be here too and then we can go on and take it back to texas to get the the juice put on it so see y'all in part two